the final bus of Route 375. This story happened back in November 14th, 1995. It was an old man. Some people say it was an old woman. He was waiting at a bus stop at midnight, picking up a conversation with the only other person at the stop who was a quiet young man. Now, on the midnight bus, 375, the last bus for Route 375, uh, finally came. They both got on. Now, the old man took a seat near the front of the bus while the young man sat a couple of rows behind him. And one no other passenger along with them than the driver and uh, a ticket collector. Now, after a while, the bus driver spotted two shadows by the side of the road waving at the bus and the driver stopped and when the doors opened the way people got on and it was two men who were supporting the third man between them holding him up by his shoulders and the man in the middle was looking all raggedy and crazy and his head was bowed so nobody could see his face and it was like a little calm atmosphere inside the bus but like a, a kind of a grim dark light calm you know and a little bit after that, the man picked up uh, a fight with the young man under some silly thing, talking about he's stealing his, uh, he stole his wallet. And the altercation escalated, and the bus driver forced them both off the bus. Now, when they got off and the bus zoomed away, the old man was no longer angry and told the young man that he had saved their lives because the new three passengers did not have feet and they was floating. They weren't living people, he said. Now, after that, they went to the nearest police station to report this event, but nobody believed them. But the next day, the bus company issued a statement. It said, last night, the final bus for Route 375 has vanished, along with the driver and the ticket lady. And the police immediately chased down that old man and the young man who were assumed to be mentally ill when they tried to raise the alarm earlier. And they were both interviewed on the news. Now, on the third day, the police revealed the allegedly missing bus in a water reservoir about a thousand miles away from its destination. Inside the bus, it was three badly decomposed corpses. And the mystery surrounding this file, finding included, the bus did not have enough gas for it to keep going so far away. You know, a hundred miles, that's a lot. <laughs> That's a long distance, especially for a bus at the end of his route. And the police found that the gas tank was filled with fresh blood instead of gas. And the corpses found were too decomposed for just 48 hours. Even if it was summertime, the process of decom like a body decomposing it wouldn't be that quick. And an autopsy confirmed that there's been no intentional meddling with the bodies. Like, you know, just this what it was. And the police went through all the security camera tapes set up for the various entrances to access the reservoir, but found nothing out of the ordinary. To this day, that junk is still a mystery. <laughs>